All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, recently, I put out a, a video on the UR65, and I, I had great results with it, but recently, I've, uh, or all of a sudden, I've been having random fail saves, and I had the same issue with my Snapper 7, and I think I figured out what the issue is. It has to do with the Crazy B F3 uh, running FR Sky protocol for the receiver with, uh, that uses the SPI protocol. Uh, this is going to be uh, basically in your UR65s, your US65, your UK65, your uh, Snapper 6, Snapper 7, I believe the Mobula 7. Um, if you're flying around and you end up having random uh, fail safes that look like this, or this, or this, I'm going to show you what the deal is and how to fix it. Uh, so, real quick, uh, it's not a normal failsafe because the it, it's like it's like the processor is locked up. You notice that my stick position is still at 53. I can't recover this thing unless I power cycle the board. Um, it, it's almost like it it's like a data lockup. It it it's really weird, and it has to do with running in D16 mode. I know I said that. In my UR65 review, the D16 mode was working great, and it was for like like 10 packs that I flew through it, but now this problem is creeping up, and I'll show you how to fix it. Unfortunately, this makes all of these crafts um, definitely not a out-of-the-box bind and fly without having to get into beta flight because they all come set up uh, for D16. Uh, so we're going to have to go into beta flight and change it to a D8 uh, protocol. It's pretty easy and it will definitely uh, give you a much more reliable and consistent flight. All right, let's go to the computer and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, <clears throat> first thing we gotta do is go ahead and connect your quad to your computer with the USB port and hit connect in bait flight. And once you're connected, all you gotta do is go down to configuration Scroll down to your receiver uh, block here. It should be SPI RX support, that's fine. And down here it says FR Sky X. That's the D16 protocol. We need to select FR Sky D. That will change it to a D8. And that's all we have to do on the quad side. Now we gotta jump over to our, our transmitter and change how our mode is set up. Okay, now we go to our transmitter. We'll go ahead and load up our model. So here's my UR65. I'll select that one and we'll just scroll up till you get to your internal RF. And we see we have D16. Go ahead and select that and select D8. And that's it. Uh, it for me, it kept the bind. So I didn't have to rebind my model. You may, you may not. Uh, if you do, pretty easy. Just go back and rebind it like you did before. And if you don't remember how to do that, go ahead and check my review video of this drone. Should be right about right about there. And uh, just go back through the binding process. It should be exactly the same. Fail safe on you like it was doing before. I really hope this helped everybody out. Um, it's been a huge problem for me. If you're having random fail safes where it looks like everything locks up and you can't you can't rearm the quad until you power cycle. This is the fix. This is how you fix it. If anybody knows a better fix for this or what exactly the, the issue is, like how to fix this problem, because it should work in D16 mode, but it doesn't, uh, go ahead and post it in the, the comments below. I, I, I'd really like to know. I haven't, haven't found any good answers on how to fix it other than just this, this little workaround. Uh, all right. Anyways, uh, like, subscribe, uh, click that bell, and uh, share share my channel. Uh, I like interacting with everybody. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment block below. Uh, I, I read them all and I respond to just about every one of you guys. All right. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.